This is In Demand. I'm Alex James and this is Sai. Welcome to the show. Thank you for chatting. Hey, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good, good. Tell me about your time in the UK so far. It's been a busy trip for you, hasn't it? Yeah, so, you know, it was like three, four days visiting and I was in British Got Talent finale and I was at Wembley Stadium, so I think I did it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could definitely say that. Britain's Got Talent and Wembley in the space of three days. That is big. Yeah. You must kind of stop at, at times when you come to somewhere like the UK and just sort of pinch yourselves. Does it all feel like a bit of a dream? Yeah, and you know, I already you know, mentioned it a lot of times with other interviews, but let me say it one more time because, you know, I got, you know, I started to dream to do a music by Queen. That's why, you know, Wembley Stadium w was so special. And especially, I had a brunch with Brian May this morning, so... You know, that's amazing. The biggest week of my life. Tell me about that. What did you talk to Brian May about? Um, he's saying all the good things, and I'm saying all the bad things. So, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to work together? Is that the plan? Well, you know, we are. You know, you know, we are all open to each other, and you know, we talked a lot of things, and you know, he's you know very classic, you know, musician. And unfortunately, I'm not. So, <laughs> no. you know, if we work together, that's going to be great, you know, for both of us. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but it's not just Brian May, who's a big fan. Robbie Williams, who's a massive star here. He's a big fan of you as well. Yeah. So it's, it's so strange, I think, you know. <laughs> so I've gotten a lot inspired by Robbie Williams concert. And, you know, that's how I can do a huge concert in Korea. And, you know, I got a lot inspired with his production and with his literally everything in his concert. And that's what I told him yesterday. And, you know, yeah, we talked about a lot of creative things too. When you were growing up and when you were be thinking about becoming a musician, who from the world of music, maybe British stars, did you listen to, did you admire, did you get to listen to a lot of British music? Yeah, a lot of it, you know. Like I said, you know, the Queen was like Queen. Queen were my model, and they are my model still, and you know, they will be my model. And you know, I've also very addicted to Def Leppard, and you know, all that period like '80s, you know, like rock music, and you know, who else can you? Who else, you know, a lot of things in the UK. It's the rock music you like. Yeah. People might not expect that because K-pop is worlds apart from British rock music. Not the same at all, are they? Well, you know, music uh, as a creator, you know, I can do two kinds of music, which I want to and which I can do. And I'm doing what I can do right now. But, you know, in the deep inside of my heart, you know, it's always like wanna be music is rock. Any kind of music is good music. Oh, yeah, of course. Tell, so let's t we can't avoid Gangnam Style and the success of it. And now, sort of, when you think about having the biggest video of all time on YouTube, does that feel like it's you or does that feel like a dream as well? Well, first of all, it's very unrealistic because the, the number itself is so, you know, out of planet number. You know, it's 1.6 billion and, you know... I've been grew up in Korea, which is population of like 500 million. So I've never seen that kind of number and 1.6 billion. And I think, you know, if I have like more hit songs from now on in UK, but still I think Angnam Style is going to be the strongest forever for my career because it was like too much. It was too much. It's, incra it's crazy. It's, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Tell me about the dance. Where did the dance come from? Because obviously that's the thing that's sort of inspired people, isn't it? That's why it's taken off. The song's great. The dance is great. It's just a, a wonderful thing. So um, I can't say I created the dance and I cannot say I, I didn't create the dance because literally I created the dance, but I was drunk. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> can I say it's me or not? I don't know. It was me, but it was not me. Okay, it was yeah. someone inside you. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> we all go out and get drunk and come up with crazy dances. Oh, yeah. 
but not all of them get 1.6 billion views. Very creative when I'm drunk. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you massively involved in all the creative process that that is Sai as an artist as well? So, the look, the videos, everything is used. You know, you're involved. So, um, I think Gangnam Style and my new single, Gentleman, they also, you know, both of them, they work with not just with music, with choreographs and music video and everything all together. So what I can say is it's sort of mixture, right? So, you know, if just one thing, it's not just one thing, like mixture of like three, four things all together. So, which is very cool, I think. And so the literally people likes to watch my video. So which means like a lot of, you know, mixture categories in it. You need to get drunk more to come up with more crazy dances. <laughs> that's, I think that's what we've learned yeah, today. As long as my liver is fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's been lovely meeting you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Open Gangnam Style.